Hello. It's us. We're back again. Uh, Luke, this is chapter six of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, this is on Nowhere, the planet Nowhere. Uh, and there are lots of collectibles in this level, but you have to pay to get a lot of them. So I've broken this guide up into the first collectibles we're going to get are all the free ones. They don't cost anything. And then we're going to get all the uh, collectibles that do cost something. Because at the end of chapter seven, you need to pay back your fine for an achievement. So I want the option available to you. I want to show you all the collectibles you can get without ruining that achievement later on. And uh, and then if you don't care about that, all the collectibles that you can get. Okay. So uh, the first one uh, was uh, at a bar where we start like right next to you. You go in, there's an archive. Uh, if you keep walking past the bar, you come to that intersection that I just showed you, and there's another archive down these stairs. And then the final free collectible is at kind of like this pink, nervy intersection. Uh, there is an outfit for Star-Lord underneath these stairs. Fun fact, those kids steal some money from you if you interact with them. Oh, really? I yeah. didn't know that. <laughs> well, uh, they must that must be their stash, Star-Lord's yeah. movie outfit. It's where they keep it. Okay, so for, uh, oh, wait, there's one more free uh, collectible. I lied, sorry. Uh, if you go up the stairs, there's like this weird intersection and there's an archive at uh, out on this like white walkway area. Ah, the what edge you, of the universe, what, I believe. Is that what we're looking at? The yep, edge of yep. the universe? The edge of the known universe. Have you ever read the book uh, Restaurant at the End of the Universe? I've been meaning to, though. It's a good book. Uh, you know what I love about these collectibles, too? What's that? They look like Pokedexes. Like, every time I'm, like, pulling up a collectible, I'm, like, reading about a new garden. Bulbasaur, the plant Pokemon. That's right. Beautiful. Um, So, actually, (laughs) this is another free uh, collectible. I I suck at this. Free? Yeah. Uh, So, uh, if you turn around from the one we just got, there's another archive behind this pink brainstem thingy. Mm. Okay. Now I think the free ones are over. Yes. Okay. So, first one that you have to pay for is this vending machine. Um, you get uh, one of these three collectibles. It's random which one you get. So if you do want 100% of the collectibles, you do have to get to this point two more times. Oh, It's not required for the achievement. You don't need to get 100% of the collectibles, but I just want to show it to you. That's the one I got. Um, so this is the Collector's Emporium. This is very easy to find. It's at one of the major intersections, but also there's a giant hologram of the dude's head. <laughs> Thankfully. Um, if you walk in and buy a ticket, the ticket itself is a collectible item. Costs five thousand oh, dollar credits, welcome. units, units, Scrum- scrumples, <laughs> scrumple units. It costs five thousand scrumples. Uh, and you just talk to this guy who's stuck in this box, who's kind of weird, and uh, you have a whole conversation about the uh, the Emporium. And then, if you go around the corner to the right, uh, there is a doll that you can buy for Grimora. I think it's 2,000 spookles. Oh, I didn't know that Grimora was uh, was quite the doll collector. Dolls, yeah. If you walk into her room in the chapter before this one, uh, she's playing with dolls. And she's all like, knock next time. And you go, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's your ticket for however much it was, um, and then uh, you just walk in. And play. Wow, it's an expensive ticket. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, yep. To see the the wonders of the universe, I'd pay five thousand scrumples. Ah, uh, okay. That's what you're always telling people. You need to save your scrumples for a rainy galactic day. Right, right. If it, if it ever rains in the universe, you'll want those scrumples. Uh, so here's uh, this guy. Uh, there's three things you can buy. Uh, you can only afford two of them, but you want the one on the left. I don't know what the one on the right is, but uh, the doll's on the left, and that's what you want to give to her more. Okay. Because she collects them, because she's a nerd. Ooh, yeah. 50,000 units. Yeah, I don't think you ever get 50,000. Jeez. Or maybe you can. Hey, now I'm really curious if you There's can. some ways to gamble on this world, but like you never make a lot of money doing that. Um, um, what's the most yeah, money you've ever made gambling? Um, I think I won like 70 bucks one time. That's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. I was playing uh, like blackjack and I put it on like an obscure number and just like randomly wow. landed on that. And they were it, like, yeah, it was like, let it ride. Yep. Uh, so this is just outside the collector's emporium. This is another big intersection. Um, and you need to talk to uh, this thing, uh, the lottery. And uh, you never win. You can't win the lottery. But um, the days. lottery ticket itself is a collectible. So, oh, uh, make sure you get it. I bought that ticket thinking I would get a collectible and, and maybe were, some money. And you were right. Well, you were half right. Because okay. you get a you get a collectible, but you don't get any money. Um, 
This guy has like some funny dialogue, and you can listen if you want, or uh, just skip it. Yeah, take your ticket. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I think there's two more collectibles. Um, we're gonna get a thing that can unjam our spaceship, and I think that's it. Actually, I think that's the last one. Oh. So this is back at the beginning uh, where the bar is. You walk past it and take a left, um, and the only thing down there is uh, the guy who can sell you this uh, item that we're looking for. So. Oh, I had a hilarious interaction in that bar, too, that I was telling you about. I don't know if it was just my choices, but I ran into uh, a baddie in the bar when I was going in there the first oh, time. Oh, yeah, you told me about that. Yeah, yeah it was pretty I hilarious. I think if you do something to where you piss off Rocket and Groot and they want to leave, that opens that up. Yeah. So... I will say that like almost everything you do in this game triggers unique dialogue, and it's all really good. Nice. And you're sure. There's your disabler. Yeah, you get the disabler, and uh, you never actually use it. Uh, spoiler alert. It doesn't matter if you buy it or not. Um, but yeah, those are all the collectibles. Uh, the ones you don't have to pay for and the ones you do. Well, excellent. Go get those collectibles. Or don't. No, do. Oh, oh do. Your life depends on it.